Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from SimpleProgrammer.com. And today I have a fitness question for you. That's right. I do some fitness questions on this channel. This question is about morning fasting, morning training and fasting till evening. And this is from Christoph. He says it's Polish and it's it's Polish Chris. I probably could have figured that one out. Uh, question. I'm wondering if the big gap in time between morning training and first meal isn't bad for building muscles. In most articles I've read about IF, that's intermittent fasting, training is placed in the eating window or just before it slash after it. In our case, it looks like it's not quote clean IF. Also, the most supplements, creatine, proteins, fat burners often needs to be taken many times a day after meals. How to solve this equation? Morning training, supplements, and one meal a day at evening. What about the golden hour after training? And so what he's talking about with the golden hour is that essentially after training, after lifting, you've got this window of, of opportunity to consume some protein and some carbs and, and increase your protein synthesis, muscle growth. So there's a couple of things here, Chris, Christoph. I'll say, first of all, I'm not doing morning training anymore. So I may, maybe I did, I don't know, I did this video. If you're wondering what, what I do do, <laughs> I, I have a video on how I fast until five every day. I basically eat one meal a day. Okay, I still, I've been doing that for two and a half years now. Mostly, like I, I've had a few breaks from that, but mostly been consistent for two and a half years. Now, I was doing AM training, training in the morning. Now I train from three to five every day. So every day, like today at three o'clock, I'm gonna go and run for 10 miles. And tomorrow, three o'clock, I'm gonna go and lift for two hours. And that's, that's, how, I, that's how I roll, okay? So the reason why I did that is, is part, partially because of what you're saying in your question here, is that I wanted to optimize that, that golden hour and I wanted to make sure that I was getting the maximum benefit. So I had problems, you know, training in the morning. I said, well, okay, I can take some B, BCAAs, some people say, you know, to do that, or I can take some HMB or something, and maybe that will make it so that I don't have muscle loss in between the time that I eat, you know, and, and in, in that, that whole span. If I train early in the morning and I'm not going to eat until five, okay, that, you, you can see how that, that could be a problem in that case. Or I would take a protein shake afterwards and then fast the rest of the day. And I just felt like I wasn't doing the optimal thing. So what I'm doing now is what I, I feel is optimal, which is I'm doing the fasting until, you know, until five o'clock, but I'm doing my workout from three to five, and so I'm eating right after. Now for running, I don't think it matters as much, but for lifting it does. And the reason why it matters for lifting is, and, and sort of the strategy behind what I'm doing here, is that what I want to do is I want the fasting to make me insulin sensitive, okay? I want to, not, not, I'm not necessarily going to enter a, a ketogenic spot, but I'm basically going to deplete a lot of muscle glycogen when I'm doing my, my long cardio, my 10 mile runs, and when I'm lifting, you know, all in, in this fasted state. And then the idea is that I'm going to replenish that when, right after the lift, eating some carbs and some protein, and I'm going to be, you know, my, my body is going to preferentially use the the carbohydrates that are coming in for replenishing glucose and building muscle, right? That, at least that's the idea. And so far it's worked pretty well for me. So that's, that's kind of my idea behind that. Now, if you have to do AM workouts, there's a couple of options for you. One of them is, well, I'll give you three options. One of them is to take HMB or BCAAs. I, I used to do BCAAs, but I found that HMB has, has a little bit more science behind it to prove that it's, it's good for preserving muscle. But you can take that about half an hour before your AM workout, and that's probably gonna help you. I take HMB before my workouts, even in the evening, because I, I think that it's, it's beneficial for decreasing protein, uh, protein breakdown, right? If you gain muscle, it happens because your protein synthesis is greater than your protein breakdown. So we wanna, you can either increase protein synthesis, or you can decrease protein breakdown, or you can do both, which is what I try to do. So that's one option, is you could do that, and then you do your fast, and five o'clock you eat, and you know, and you're not going to get that golden hour benefit. 
okay? But you, you should still get the benefits of, of the fasting. The second option would be to just use that golden hour and just have a protein shake with some carbohydrates. I usually put some Gatorade in there right after the AM workout. And that's probably going to give you that benefit. You're just not going to have as long of a fasting window, right? Because you could, you could do that in the AM and then you could fast until five o'clock and still, quote, eat one meal a day. And you're probably going to benefit mostly from the calorie deficit there, but not the, the extended fasting. So you're not probably going to see the increased levels of HGH that you do in, in extended fast. The third option, if you want to keep that, that morning workout, is to eat your one meal a day in the morning after your workout. Now this is going to be pretty inconvenient. I've tried this. It's, um, it's harder to go to sleep at night hungry, right, th than it is to get through the day hungry, in my opinion. But I'm sure you could adapt to it. And it's a little bit harder socially to not be able to eat dinner and to only be able to eat breakfast. But you know what? Breakfast is pretty fucking great. I like breakfast. So <laughs> uh, especially, you know, you could go work out and you could eat some donuts afterwards or some waffles or pancakes. That's, that's pretty cool. There's a benefit there. So it depends on your, on your lifestyle and what you, can, what you can do and how serious you are about this. But I am putting out a program. I know I say this a lot, but I am working on a program. I'm still working on some aspects of it, and I've, I've still got a lot of things in my queue for work to get done. But I will be putting out, I know a lot of you are asking, you're like, John, can you give me just a spreadsheet with what your lifts are, what your workout is, what your diet regimen is? I'm going to put it all into a program. I'm going to have video. I'm going to have everything, and I'm going to, I'm going to sell it. It's not going to be too expensive, though. And, I, and I'll cover all that stuff and all the science behind this. I, I get into a little bit of the detail here, but there's a huge amount of science to what I'm doing, what supplements I'm taking, and, and why I'm doing this to sort of optimize this. And, and my results have been pretty phenomenal. I mean, some of you have been watching my videos over over time. And I've done some experiments where, you know, obviously I'm, I'm carrying a little bit more weight right now or a little bit more fat because I, I'm, I was doing an experiment I, again, and I'm still doing one now, but <laughs> I'm always kind of perfecting this. But essentially, what I'm doing now is is fasting until five every day, and I'm doing what would be some people call it carb backloading or carb cycling, and that's that's so far has been the, the most effective thing that that I've done. So, great question, Christoph. I think that this is this is uh, a struggle for a lot of people that try to do intermittent fasting with with the AM workouts. My preference is just to push it you know, to, to do it. Again, I'll give you one more option here. This is what I would say for most people that work a nine to five job. It's just after work, go hit the gym and go do your workout and then eat at like seven o'clock at night, you know, and that's, that's going to get you the, the biggest benefit in, in my opinion. Although the, the only downside is that you might be tired after work. That's why I say don't drive home, drive straight to the gym because then, then you can't be too lazy. Then you have to go. If you like this video, if you want more videos on fitness, programming, philosophy, career, life, all that stuff, click the subscribe button below. If you have a question for me about any of those topics, you can email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.